Hey everybody, Adam Savage in my cave and I have some spacesuit goodness to share with you today. Uh, I shared it recently with a, a, a tool tip about a new polishing tool that I have implemented into my process. And I use that tool to polish up the visor of this beautiful helmet from the television show, Lost in Space. Highly regarded, I have to admit, I have not seen it, but everyone I know who has loves it. And that is, I'm so happy when an excellent sci-fi franchise goes out into the world and does good. I plan to watch this because, yeah, of course, I can't ignore it. That's awesome. Um, the spacesuits are the part of the show I am most fascinated with, as one would imagine, because I am deeply spacesuit obsessed, as you all know. The suits in this show were designed by Academy Award winning costume designer Angus Strothy. Uh, he won the Academy Award for Moulin Rouge, well-deserved, highly deserved, an amazing film for everything, up to and including costumes. Uh, and these spacesuits were under his purview. And I have obtained an entire spacesuit from Lost in Space for my collection. And I'm gonna put it on for you today. We're gonna get a little hot uh, under the collar, as it were, but this has built-in cooling and lighting. I cannot wait to show it to you. Also, it turns out you know who made this, because I know who made this, because it was made by my friends at FBFX. Here is some of their former work under the aegis of costume designer Janty Yates. This is from Alien Covenant, a magnificent piece, and I'm so proud to have this in my collection. Someday I want to build the rest of the suit. Someday I will. Uh, but uh, FBFX out of London are our good friends here at Tested. We've shot in their shop many, many times. They make all sorts of different props, but one of their specialties is spacesuits. Um, in the video where I polished this, I covered how neat it was to see uh, a production piece from a television show versus a film, because I have seen pieces from films and a television show imparts a lot more abuse onto a prop than a movie even. Uh, because it's used over many, many hours of shooting. A television show can be 8 to 16 to 24 hours of actual content over several years, where a movie is just two. Uh, and so I could see artifacts in this costume to make it that much more robust for the kind of abuse that television imparts. I think that's enough talking about the preliminaries. It's time to put this puppy on. All right, I'm going to start by taking stock of what I've got here. I've got a pair of gloves. I've got a harness. Uh, let's see. Oh, 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 a Snoopy cap. Oh, this is the suspenders. Okay, those are not part of this because those are part of the costume when it's in a different state. Oh, God, look at these. Beautiful boots. Um, FBFX not only did uh, the spacesuits for Alien Prometheus and Covenant, but they also did the spacesuits for The Martian. Uh, and you can see this little front panel. That's very much an FBFX move on their spacesuits. Martian suit also has those. Um, ah, here we go. This is the meat of everything. So we have here a a harness, climbing harness, goes with the suit. We have a oh, look at that! Oh, wow. Okay, just preliminarily um, on first glance, what I'm seeing is some custom screen printed textures on fabric. It's actually weathering really beautifully. Ah, yeah, the famous abdomen plate. That is one of the key things I noticed about the suit. Uh, and in there are the pants. The pants. Um, yeah, check this out. This is really interesting. The pants actually are built like motorcycle armor, and thus they actually connect to the top part. All right. That makes dressing really easy. Uh, yeah, those go with the suspenders, but there's no... Yeah. And is that true to show? Is that everything? Oh, wait, well, there's a wrist computer here. Okay, great. I will need a little help at one key part of this, but we'll get it. 
Um, yeah, I guess I can just lay this down right here. We'll do the pants first. Um, ah, all right, I'm gonna go take off my pants and put on these pants. I'll be right back. All right. Already a couple of really interesting things about these. Uh, they're built like fishing waders. Uh, so I've got these rubber feet that go into their boots, which I think is really neat. Um, oh, right. I had, yes, 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 I did that. Okay, great. Um, in order to fill, so these boots are based on, um, I believe, winter uh, mucklucks. Uh, in Canada and cold places of the world, people go to offices wearing dress shoes, but they get to those offices in the winter by wearing uh, boot covers over their dress shoes. And I think that's what these began their life as. But it means there's a lot of room in there. So I bought these like real cheapy sort of wool boot liners. I think these are like slippers, but they're cheap. And uh, they fill that space in there. Doesn't that look great? Look at that. Awesome. Same thing here. I think I can just slip this right on. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. Yeah, terrific. Remember cosplayers, always put those boots on early. <laughs> yeah, the other way lies madness. Oh. Right, and before I put on the top, let's get let's get this thing correct because it's got a few moving parts. So there is, I think that's how it goes. I should have done this before I put the boots on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's see here. So it goes. That's towards the crunch. Yeah, that's towards the crotch, so my legs come in. Okay, so one leg, yep, and the other leg, yep. What am I missing? What's going on here? Is that how it goes? Wait a second. See? Yep. I'm actually looking at reference material and it is off center. So I am wearing it correctly. Okay. I'm going to lower this down just a little bit so I can get the top part zipped on. Yep. Also, this is all custom construction. But boy, does it feel commercial in its nature. It's like really, really nicely built. All right, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, yes, the wrist container. I'm sure they had, ooh, ooh. I'm sure they had people on set to do this so the actors didn't have to do it themselves. But, you know, we won't put the gloves on until the very last. I will tell you from a from a wearability standpoint, I can feel they've got some, there is some uh, air coming in in the knees. I'm not boiling in this, which would be their goal, right? They want to make these suits wearable by the actors and not have to take them off every 20 minutes as they're overheating. Um, and it really is 
quite comfortable. All right. Uh, the next part of this is, uh, oh, right. So I just want to talk about this. This is the main body of the suit. And this is, I believe, I believe this is polyurea sprayed into a mold, a 3D printed mold. They've made it very accessible for getting to the battery components. And this does the, uh, the fan and the lighting. You can hear the fan, but it is very quiet. Um, the fan is over here. And you can see the custom scoop they've 3D printed to channel the air. And it comes out through this manifold here, very similar to an actual Apollo manifold. The goal is to come out from the back of the helmet and around the front. And I have found this one works great in that regard. Okay, so let's get this puppy on. I guess I can do it without my hearing aids because I'll be wearing the snoopy cap in a second. Ooh, I got to tell you that air feels nice on my the back of my head. Okay, so Norm, I need your help. Uh, yeah, under the, yep. Yeah. Right, then that guy. Yep. You might not be able to close that one. Yeah. Oh, great. Let's see now. The gloves and the Snoopy cap. Let's get the Snoopy cap on. No. Oh, there's a back zipper. Oh, Ooh. Ooh, I should have put this on earlier. <laughs> this will be easy. Okay. Ah, there we are. Whew. That wasn't as bad as I was afraid it would be. Okay, uh, we got a one glove. Actually, should I do the gloves after I do the suit, the helmet? Yeah, I think I should. Okay, so this is going to be tricky with this because it doesn't quite fit my glasses with the helmet. There we go. Okay, Norm, I need you to push the helmet down on its top. Yep. Oh, hard. That's it. We're locked. And you can hear me loud and clear? Eh, yeah, give or take. Okay. Uh, gloves. Oh. I've got a friend coming by the cave in a minute. He has no idea how cool this is. <laughs> it's like just randomly stopping by. I think this is what he's fantasizing it's actually going to be like, and he's going to be right. Um, there we go. Oh, hey, Norm, would you uh, compress that glove so it, it just snaps it? There you go. And these gloves, I'm like mystified. I feel like they had to have had a custom glove company make these because they're so good looking. Yeah, go ahead and do that. And uh, that's everything. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The latest addition to my collection of now over 20 spacesuits lost in space. Uh, I feel great. It's very lightweight. It's I really could spend a couple of hours in this. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it'd be really nice to take off if I was wearing this for a couple of hours. But it's surprisingly comfortable. I guess I don't have to yell. No one can just talk normally. Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave, fully protected from COVID and all other environmental pathogens. I really want to walk on the street wearing this. I know I shouldn't, but I want to. Well, Halloween's coming up. I'll tell you, maybe I'll wear one of these all day on Halloween. Just when I walk slowly. Seriously, like you would become an actor just to get to put one of these on. I would. 
learn acting just to be able to wear one of these. Are you kidding? This is like fantasy camp of the best possible kind. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, there is a sweet relief to that, to be sure. Damn, that is a good looking suit. I am so delighted that this is now part of my collection. God, I want to see them all in the same place someday. All right, to infinity and beyond. Oh, that's a different franchise. Hey guys, Adam Savage from Tested here. If you've ever seen the six inch ruler in inches and centimeters on my forearm and wanted one of your own, but you didn't want it to be permanent, well, today's your lucky day. You can now buy temporary tattoos of my measuring stick, my measuring forearm, uh, at tested-store.com. Comes like this, goes on in about 30 seconds with a little water. The instructions are on the back. It comes off with rubbing alcohol, and hopefully it warms you up to the idea of permanently attaching a measuring device to your body, because I use mine every single day.